Okay, so this is the second video continuing uh, going through the problems in the PDF that's linked to below. And we've already found um, the times at which both planes pass through the uh, intersection of their paths. So the first one goes through here, the second plane goes through here, and that's specifically plane one goes through at this time and plane two goes through at this time. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see my cursor. Plane one goes through at 220 over 167, and plane two goes through at uh, 4110 over 167. Um, so those are the times, and then we uh, found the the location of the intersection of their paths, and that's uh, at x equals negative 402 over 167, and y is 912 over 167. Um, now the question is, in my mind, well, how close do they get? I mean, do they get very close uh, at any time? Uh, not necessarily at the uh, point of intersection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, yet another page, and I'm just going to define the distance formula. Um, so the distance as a function of t set equal to, and uh, I'm going to punch it in the way I, I ordinarily would, so I need some parentheses here, and then it's, uh, I have to subtract the x coordinates, right? So I'm going to x2 of t minus x1 of t, and then square that, plus, and parentheses here, do y, uh, y2 of t, just for consistency, it doesn't matter because you're squaring, but y1 of t, and square, um, so I get that. So now I actually can find the distance between the planes at uh, t equals 1, let's say, like that. Um, if I go back to the previous page, um, and I get, uh, let's say, let me just take this, um, store that. So I'm going to do equals colon, which is the reverse of what you do when it's on the other side, right? Colon equal, equals colon t2 for the time that plane 2 goes through there. Um, if I do the distance of t2, um, that's uh, crazy radical. So that's actually how far apart they are um, when plane 2 goes through the intersection point. So they're not very close to each other. Could have done the same thing for uh, plane 1, but I don't feel like it, so not going to. Um, to find the minimum here, what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't really have a lot of options, So, but I do know that I could graph this distance function, right? So let's do that. Um, so here, you'll notice that um, right there, um, that's actually uh, an x, right? So when I put in the distance formula, that's actually an x, I sound brilliant. Um, what I want to do is, uh, well, I guess I have to type it because it's not coming up, but the, the distance as a function of x. Um, pretty sure if you press the var key there, you'll actually get your variables, but I didn't for some reason. So I'm going to graph the distance uh, as a function of x. So what's happening here is uh, I don't see anything, but if I move my graph a little bit, um, what I can do is, uh, if I go to the window, window settings, I know that uh, t goes from 0, so I'm going to go from negative 1 to, I think the, the last plane takes 40 minutes, so I'm going to go to 41, so I can see the whole thing. Um, and then I, gotta, I can see the minimum here, so what's happening is the horizontal axis is time. So the time is going from 0 to 40, that's the only time at which this, uh, actually 0 to uh, 30 is the only time this distance formula is accurate, because both planes are moving on that 30 minute interval, and then one of them lands, it doesn't keep moving, um, so it would be more complicated if uh, it was after 30. Fortunately it's not. But I want to analyze this, so distance is on the vertical, and time is on the horizontal, but uh, we know how to find a minimum, so uh, menu, analyze graph, minimum, click to the left, click to the right, you get your minimum. If you're not seeing enough decimals, remember, uh, you gotta change the float on your uh, settings for graphs and geometry. Uh, there's a video about that somewhere. And uh, so this is the answer I get. I get that the uh, minimum distance is 5.66, uh, we could say 6 or 5.7, and that occurs at 14.115. So uh, that's how I would do these problems, and uh, I hope this is uh, helpful to you. Good luck.